What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new AEW action figure review, but this is no normal review. Today, I figured we could do a little bit differently, and maybe we could do this moving forward when we get some WWE Elite guys and some AEW Unrivaled guys, and then we get the vice versa option. So, say they jump ship and go to AEW, or they jump ship and go to WWE, we're going to take their vice versa figure and compare it to the already existing figure, just like in this case with Samoa Joe. His Target exclusive AEW Unrivaled Samoa Joe figure just released, and we we already have previous versions of him from Mattel with his WWE Elite figure. So today over here, man, we have the WWE Elite 64 Samoa Joe, and we have the Elite WrestleMania 35 2-pack, I think, or 30, I think it was 35 2-pack with Rey Mysterio, that random 2-pack they did. It was like the Mysterio, Rey Mysterio with Samoa Joe. I think that match lasted like 30 seconds or something like that, but we got it in a 2-pack from Mattel, and so I figured uh, take those two Samoa Joes. They're probably the two best Samoa Joes. You know, you have your Survivor Series Elite in blue. You have your yellow, like, GameStop slash, like, Destroy. Destroyer NXT Elite we have, and now we have the AEW and Rival version. A lot of people wanted to see, a lot of people wanted to see this figure reviewed, so I figured why not do a comparison style video and find out which one is the champion, and I can already see this coming forward for other people as well, and maybe we can go back and even do a detailed version with other talents, like Christian has had an Elite and an AEW figure. Jade Cargill, she's going to get an Elite someday of her. We're going to get her Elite. We can compare it to her unrivaled figure and her different AEW figures. Daniel Bryan and Brian Danielson, John Moxley and Dean Ambrose, you know, different stuff like that. We probably need to do something like that, and maybe we can throw back that, but nonetheless, man, we're going to find out which figure is the best. Dive in all the details today. Shut the hell up and get into it, man. So, what we're going to do first, though, is we got to get the Samoan Joseph out of his packaging, and to do that, we need to take a look at it here. So, this is the Samoa Joe Target exclusive. Really cool things about the, the Target figures from AEW is they do have the red foil at the top. They don't have the gold or the silver. Uh, the exposure's getting all weird, but one thing this figure faced a lot of criticism for is his baby hands. I mean, look at this guy's hands, man. I mean, they definitely look tiny, but we're going to have to get him out of the packaging and find out what's going on. But it looks like he has a cloth towel in here. The head sculpt's looking okay from where I'm sitting. And he actually looks like my Uncle Tim. And so anytime we see Samoa Joe, we always say, hey, it's Uncle Tim. Look at Uncle Tim. So kind of looks like my Uncle Tim. So think about that next time you look at Samoa Joe. He's Samoa Tim to me, damn it. I honestly call him Samoa Joseph. But nonetheless, there is your figure there. Go foil Samoa Joe. You guys know this is hitting Target store. So if you guys are interested, definitely uh, go hit up your targets. But here's Samoan Joseph looking pretty good, man. We're going to crack him out of the package. Find out what he's all about. Take a look at his accessories and all the different things. And, of course, compare him to the WWE Elite figures and see what he's about. So let's shut the hell up, dive into it, and find out what Samoan Joseph's Target exclusive AEW and Rival figure is all about. All right, so here's Uncle Tim in all his glory, man, spinning round and round. Already have some things about the figure that I do not like, and of course, we're going to unpack all of those things here in this video, of course, grab all the stuff and tell you about it, but we're going to dive into the accessories first, and then we're going to take a look at the figure, compare it with the WWE Elite, and just kind of see where we progress from there and see what is going on with it, man. You know, I do like some things going on with this figure, and of course, we're going to unpack both sides of it, as we always do in the review. We're going to give you the things I like, the things I don't like, and dive into all those things, man. So with that being said, let's shut the hell up and dive into what we like and don't like and uh, get started with some accessories. All right, man, so getting into Samoa Joe's accessories with the Target exclusive. I mean, to be real, you don't get a lot here. You get a little cloth good, which we're going to dive into, and you get some interchangeable hands. No championship or anything, but we do have this new towel right here, which has a really nice material to it. I feel like I could clean my face with this, you know? I mean, it's just a little handkerchief accessory, but it is pretty nice. Like, it's folded right here. You can unfold it, but it's it's nice. It's big, too. Like, Jesus Christ, you could shower with this thing, you know what I mean? Like, pretty long, you know? And I think he does use like a regular white towel to, you know, accommodate the sweat, I guess, that he accumulates that Samoan Joseph has. But it's a pretty nice accessory. I kind of wish I had a bendy wire in it. I think that would be the, the chef's kiss. But it's still pretty good. It's got, I would say, some heft to it. But you could fold it around the neck and stuff like that. Like, you're probably going to have to have him hold it there. Or you're going to have to wet it or something to get it give it some weight. But you know what I'm saying? I think, I think it's a pretty cool accessory. I like having some different stuff going on. And it's better than the rubber ones we've seen in the past, you know? You could actually use this in fo figure photography and things of that nature. Nature, so this is a cool accessory. And then we have our interchangeable hands, which are very weird. So you do have a pair of like mic holding style hands that have the white tape on the left hand. And this isn't bad as far as like sculpt and coloration and stuff like that, except uh, these are a different size and the hand tape is different on the other. So if you go like regular hand grappling, like this is the grapple hand and the mic holding hand, you guys can see that the taped hand that is grappling is a lot more tape as you guys can see. And then the mic holding is a lot lesser tape. It's just the one strap compared to the like max amount of tape that you have here. And then on the right 
hand. It doesn't have any tape whatsoever, so it's the grappling hand and the mic holding hand. Not too, too much difference between these interchangeable hands. That's your two pairs of different, you know, interchangeable hands. And then you have your signature hands or your Samoan Joseph, like, hang, hang loose hands or whatever, but these are very tiny. I mean, these are tiny, man. These are tiny hands, and they look weird with the little ball peg coming out or the little peg coming out. And this is the difference in size here. And I guess, like, it, it's not like a, the biggest difference ever when you hold up next to each other, but I think overall size, you can definitely tell. Yeah, from this angle, you can definitely tell that it's different. Like, it's missing a big chunk of meat right there in the thumb portion, and I think that's probably where the issue comes in with it. So these are definitely, like, the size is definitely an issue with these, and I don't know if you could put the, you know, the WWE Elite hands in there. I guess we could try in this video, but it's certainly something to talk about. All right, so getting into Samoa Joseph at the top of the head skull, pretty decent. You know, he's resembling Uncle Tim. He's looking pretty good. He looks like Samoa Joe. I like this head sculpt pretty, pretty well, you know? I think the likeness is there. I like the hair color and the haircut. He's got like the mohawk going down the middle there with the fade and everything. It's looking pretty damn good. I like the likeness and arguably maybe the best Samoan Joe head sculpt ever ever made. Like it really does look like Joe. I really like this head sculpt a lot. Torso isn't bad, you know. It, it gives you the beef. Big boy, he's a big dude. He's, he's Samoa Joe, so you know he's packing. You know, he's he's a large human being in the torso department and everything like that. On this left arm, I'm really not digging this like really weird black strip right here. You know, we saw this on Mattel figures where they would paint the elbow tape or the elbow pad on there, which I think is a good move because, uh, you know, when you just have this thin black line in there, I guess he had tape on or something. It just looks odd to me, especially when it doesn't even cover the elbow. It just looks a bit weird. It just looks random, almost kind of like a painted on forearm band like AJ Styles, but white wrist tape. I put the uh, mic holding hands on here instead of the, the baby hands for now, but you get into the shorts. Pretty good sculpt here, I think. You know, it goes up top over the, over the belly right there. The red is super muted. It's very, like, non-saturated which is a thing, but he's got the short shorts in there. You get the red or like the flat red or whatever. And then you have the black side, which is okay. No paint chipping or anything. This is one of my biggest cons with the figure is these knee pads. I do not like these. You know, on Mattel figures, they are sculpted on. And I think that's probably the way this should go is sculpted on or just painted black knees. I think like painting the knees and the upper legs and the lower legs black would have been much better than this because when you see the articulation, you're not going to be able to bend this whatsoever. But I mean, they're unique looking knee pads slash braces. I just don't like them very much. He does have kick pad rotation, which I like, and then he does have the white outsoles on the front here, which I really do like as well. Gives it that added detail. But looking at the figure standing up right here, you guys can see uh, ab crunch is like non-existent. You have a little bit of diaphragm movement right here. Shoulders go up and down. You do get the double jointed knee or the double jointed elbow, I should say, but I don't know, man. Just legs can kick forward pretty decent. You do get that upper thigh cut right there. You get kick pad rotation. Ankles move that down and up. You do get ankle pivot and stuff like that, but, like, he can kick forward and stuff like that, which is much better than the previous, like, Mattel Samojo, which we'll see in just a second, but the knee bend is atrocious. Terrible knee bend. You're not gonna be able to do it. It just rides up, and you get less than 90 here, so it's essentially a single-jointed knee. It's a single-jointed knee for the most part, and it, it's really bothersome because when you bring in the Mattel Elite, like, of course, the Mattel Elite's definitely not, uh, perfect. I'm gonna take the shirt off of this other Samojo so we can kind of see it here, the, uh, the WrestleMania Elite because they have very similar haircuts and stuff. So here's the WWE Elite. You know, the, the Unrivaled is a little bit taller here, as you guys can see. Very similar head sculpts on these guys. I think that the AEW one definitely looks more realistic. When comparing these, I think this one looks a lot more realistic. This one's a little bit cartoony, but it still has a good sculpt and everything. I think both of them look pretty good and like Samoa Joe. Torsos are pretty similar. You guys can see there's the painted on elbow pad or whatever. You go down to the shorts. Uh, a lot more saturated on the Mattel, but the, his shorts were probably more saturated. But he's been wearing these style shorts for a long time now, but looking at the knee pads, you guys can see they sculpted them on on the Mattel. It's not perfect though. It's still kind of bothersome because you do have this flap in the back that does prevent it, but if we're comparing knee bends, it's wild because they're almost virtually the same. That, isn't that kind of wild? This is sculpted on over here. However, if you would have sculpted on this one, I think this one would have allowed for a better bend because you guys can see the shortcut is much higher, so I feel like uh, maybe sculpting on that knee pad for the AEW figure would have been better in that case. And one thing I heard in the past is a lot of people didn't like the previous Samoa Joe, like the Mattel Samoa Joe, because it was a little bit short and they felt like, you know, this version may be a little bit taller and may be more serviceable. And I can certainly see that. Like, here is a Roman Reigns figure right here, and you guys can see how he towers over this Samoa Joe. And Samoa Joe's not, like, freakishly tall or something like that, but it's certainly better when you get him up against, like, other, you know, bigger characters and stuff like that, you know, Great Balls of Fire and whatnot. But you guys can kind of see how he fits into the collection here, you know, those giant torsos that, you know, that Jazzwares likes to do. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's a bad take on Samoa Joe. 
Uh, but I think at the end of the day, some other things can be done to help the Samoa Joe figure. So I think that I'm definitely going to remove the knee pads and just live with it. Or just replace the knee pads. I'm going to replace the knee pads with some probably Mattel knee pads or something like that. Or maybe I'll look at some AEW ones to kind of see. We'll see what that looks like on surgery probably. I'll probably post a surgery this week. A lot of different figures I want to fix up and see how they do. So we'll see about all of those things. Got a lot of figures in and stuff like that. So we'll kind of fix up and see what we can go with. But at the end of the day, I like some things about this AEW Samoa Joe. I like the addition of the double jointed arms compared to the single jointed over here. You guys know that if you have a Mattel Elite Samoa Joe, it's been really hard to pose around for a long time. So having this one, I don't know how much better it's going to be to pose around. But it'll definitely be a newer challenge, I guess. But from what I'm seeing here, it does look like they have very similar issues while having their own strengths and their own ways. But I would like to know down in the comment section below which one you guys would go with if you had to pick which Samoan Joseph figure are you riding with uh for me it's kind of tough but I think I would probably go with the AEW version I think just because well I, I'm saying if I remove the knee pads if I remove the knee pads I'm definitely going with the AEW version but if I can't if I'm going stock figure I'd probably pick the Mattel but if I since I do have the ability to fix it up and do my own thing I guess I would ride with the AEW version but nonetheless man I want to know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below before we get out of here man huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel I always appreciate those guys. Love those guys so very much. Thank you guys so much for your continued support on the videos. I always appreciate those guys over there. If you guys are interested in that, click the link in the description below. But that is pretty much going to wrap up today's Samoan Joseph review video, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys later. Let me know your thoughts on the Samoan Joseph down below. Are you Team Mattel WWE Elite Uncle Tim? Or are you AEW Unrivaled Uncle Tim? And you give me your thoughts on the differences. I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.